In our last video, we took you through the process of how oil and gas are formed. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the recent discoveries of oil in Namibia by Shell and Total Energies. Shell and Total Energies have found light, good quality oil and some gas at a deep depth, specifically 3 kilometers from the sea surface to the seabed and another 3 kilometers below the seabed, a total of 6 kilometers from the sea level. These fields are located about 250 kilometers offshore southwest of the country between Luderitz and Oranje Mund. Understandably, both companies are currently drilling and doing some appraisal to determine the commercial viability of the decision to go to the next phase, which is development. This could take up to five years before production. There are also other operators, including BW Energy, which is exploring the possibility of converting the gas to produce onshore electricity for Namibia. What presumably weighs in the balance of the oil majors is the cost of drilling at a deep depth, the technical and commercial challenges for developing the oil fields at such depth, the cost of logistics from field to shore, building the onshore infrastructure, the estimated quantities of oil and gas, the current price of the barrel, and with the good quality of light oil being presumably of higher value, this means it would require less refining and would be easier to extract. With the current momentum, renewable energies will gradually reduce our dependency on fossil fuels, but oil and gas are still likely to play an important role in the short and medium term. According to the Energy Institute, oil and natural gas remain the world's leading fuels, accounting for nearly 55% of global energy consumption. If this discovery goes into production, and if managed properly, it could bring a huge economic boost to the country while transforming Namibia into a major energy producer. Namibia is one of the few countries in the world to have the protection of the environment written in its constitution and presumably there would be scrutiny to minimize the environmental impact. Another positive is that the Namibian government has created a sovereign wealth fund similar to the Norwegian model. It is a state-owned investment fund financed by surplus revenues or reserves to promote economic development and savings for its citizens for present and future generations. Applying good governance and ethical management of the resources for the benefit of the country and its citizens is of utmost importance. Doing so will contribute to the success of the sovereign wealth fund. If oil and gas activities materialize, they should generate more employment opportunities, bring energy independence to Namibia, and could change the destiny of many from poverty to a decent standard of living for all. With the population of Namibia being only 2.6 million, this is a feasible dream. So this has been part 2 of this 3 part video series, soon we will conclude part 3 of this series with green energy, so until then don't forget to subscribe to our online channels to stay in the loop.